and Z as well. Okay, faham tak? Any problem? Example one, any problem? No problem, Dr. Tak ada, eh? Okay. Example two, have you done this question? Yes. Yes, Dr. Dah buat, eh? Okay, so can you get the same answer? Dapat, Dr. Dapat, eh? Dapat, Dr. Alright, so now uh, we'll go to the directional derivative. Okay, um, if the question asks for directional derivative, then this is the formula. Okay, you need to find the grad U, and eh, sorry, grad F, and then you need to find the unit vector. So if you are given vector, you need to uh, find the unit vector first, then only you can proceed. Okay. And after you find the grad F and U, then you just dot these two functions. Okay, example 3, um, the function is already given okay, at point 1, 2. So you need to find grad F and then uh, and also the unit vector is given. Okay, so you just use this one. Uh, after you find the grad F, then you dot product with you represent the unit function. Okay, so basically this is the solution for example 3. Can you understand this? Boleh faham tak solution ni? Boleh doctor. Okay, so um, if the question asks for directional derivative, this is how to find it. Okay. Example 4. Okay, find the directional derivative of function uh, x sine y z in direction of u equals to 1 2 negative 1 so from this um from this question you know that this v is a vector it is not a unit vector kalau the unit vector the question will state it is a unit vector but if the question just give you like this this is vector eh? so if it is vector then you need to find your unit vector Okay, tahu kan macam nak cari? Unit vector is equals to uh, vector divided by the its magnitude. Alright, so the answer is negative 3 over 6. Dapat? Dapat. Okay. Example 5, from example 3, in what direction from the point is uh, the direction derivative a maximum and minimum? Okay, meaning that the question is asking for maximum and minimum direction and also its magnitude. Okay, so to find the maximum or minimum and also its magnitude, you just have to focus on the grad F. Okay, so if your grad F is this negative 4xi plus 3y square j, then okay you substitute the values of um that point the point one two into this okay so basically you can dapat negative for i plus two of j right so maximum directional derivative is the grad f itself but for the minimum you just put the negative sign here okay so this graph represent the maximum direction uh, and this graph represents the minimum direction. Okay, faham tak? Kalau minimum, you just letak negative and you multiply the whole function with negative. Okay, and if the question is asking for magnitude, the value eh, um, so you kena cari the magnitude lah, uh, the magnitude of grad F, which is equals to set, um, the element square, each element square, okay? For, this is for maximum. For minimum, you just put negative. Okay, basically you will get the same value. Cuma the difference is one is positive, another one is negative. Faham? Dia yeah, boleh jadi. Uh, kalau yang direction tu, kalau yang masalah bagi, pada awal-awal kita dapat tu memang kita assume max lah. Ah, uh, uh, itu max dia. Oh. Itu kalau yang yang itu directional derivative tu, uh, hmm. u dia, unit vector dia macam mana boleh tak ada eh? Kita, uh, kita, untuk maximum, minimum and magnitude kita tak tak kacau 
Iu dia. Kita ambil grad F je. Oh. Memang ah. terus ni lah. Grade ah? operator dengan field operator function je lah. Ah, ah, betul. Okay. Tapi okay. Untuk yang ini for the graph. I sebab just. Saya ah. cuma nak tahu sebab dia. Apa? Ini vektor, oh. uh, ini vektor tu tak ada? Ah, tak ada. Memang tak ada. Kita cuma tengok dekat grad F saja, okay? For graph ni, for graphing, um, usually the question is not asked for graphing eh. Graph ni cuma saya nak tunjuk macam mana direction maximum dan minimum pergi, okay? Maximum pergi atas, minimum pergi bawah. Basically you will get the same path, same path, cuma you punya arrow je different. Okay, one is going up, one another one is going down. Going down represent the minimum eh. Kalau soalan tanya pun dia akan tanya on maximum or minimum and also it's magnitude. Okay, dia tak tanya on graph. Okay, example 4. Eh, uh, sorry. Continue, continue, uh, continue daripada example 4. Eh? So, from example 4, in what direction is the maximum and minimum and give the magnitude? Boleh tak buat? Okay. So can you can you do this question? If from grade F from here you cari, uh, I mean the maximum is the grade F itself. The minimum will be negative grade F, and also the magnitude. Ah, uh, you cari lah the magnitude. Eh? Can you do it? Boleh buat kan? Boleh tu. Okay. Now for example 6, okay this is application question eh. Let T equals to this one. Okay so this is the function of temperature in degree Celsius at point X, Y, Z in a metal solid. So find the greatest decrease. Okay decrease you tahu the minimum. Gre greatest decrease maksudnya kita punya jawapan is in terms of numbers, a value, a point. Okay so maksudnya you kena cari the magnitude. Okay. Find the greatest decrease in um, temperature at point one one two. Okay, so boleh buat tak soalan ni? Oh, saya dah tunjuk solution. Okay, so basically this is the solution. Okay, um, from my solution, you understand right? How to how I find this del T over del X, del T over del Y, and so on. Boleh faham tak? The derivative. Faham kan? Tak ada masalah. Boleh. Okay. So daripada the derivative, you substitute the values of 1, 1, negative 2 into the grad T function. You akan dapat this one and then we want to find the the magnitude of minimum. Okay. So magnitude of minimum, you just put negative and then you take from the grad T values here. Okay, you can dapat jawapan. Faham eh? Okay, example 7. Have you done this question? Already. Huh? Done, done. Done, okay. Can you get the same answer? Dapat? Dapat. Dapat, okay. So, there's no need for me to uh, explain on this question eh. Basically, it's just this, the procedure, the step is just the same as example 6. Okay. Determine the direction at which, in which the rate of change is maximum. So here we use rate of change. So rate of change, I yeah, mentioned earlier, rate of change is also known as grad F. Okay. Maximum, so you share it in lah. Find its maximum value, share the magnitude. Okay, so the answer is 2 set 14. Okay, so um, directional derivative and grad F, any problem? Tak ada. Okay, is, if there is no problem, then um, that's all for today's class. Okay, so I will give you your marks in the WhatsApp group after this. And you can get back your paper for test one in the e-learning. Okay? Boleh? Boleh.
Alright. Okay, so there is no attendance for today. Eh? Okay, no attendance for today. Then, uh, if that you if you don't have any question, then you may leave now. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you, Doctor. Thank you, Doctor. Ada nak tanya? Ya. Uh, yang example 7 tu uh, lukis dia saya tak pasti macam mana. Tak ada, tak ada lukis. Uh, Masa awak graf kan? Uh. Tak ada. Kita memang selalu tak tak tunjuk graf. Yang lukis ni saya nak tunjuk awak macam mana direction oh. tu macam uh, Kalau lukis, dia kena lukis dalam 3D lah maksudnya. Ini uh, in 3D kan? Uh, XY. Uh, kalau lukis in 3D. Okey, okey, faham. Eh? Ya. Yeah. Ya. Uh, ya, yang example tu kan? Oh. Example tu? Uh, kalau saya buat dalam vector form. Example tu ni? Ha. Uh. Find grid. Uh, boleh? Sama boleh. Mm -mm. Masih. Sama. Thank you, Rotten. Thank you. Thank you.